Hello, everybody. Um, this is our very short intro to the talk that we are giving at Rethinking Education Conference, which we're very excited about. Um, I'm Lucy Stevens, and I'm the founder of The New School, uh, which is an alternative um, progressive school looking to evolve some of the educational narrative in the UK with our impact and some of the understanding of what it is that we do on the ground with our school. Uh, Freya Aquaroni um, is also works with us at the new school and she will be there to answer all the practical on the ground questions about the school. But we're hugely excited this year that we've been joined by UCL, Alison MacDonald and Caroline Oliver. And they have done a deep dive into our school, how it works. And uh, we're really looking forward to sharing all of that information with you at the conference on the 23rd. So I'm gonna hand over to Caroline and Alison now to give you a little insight into what we're talking about. Thanks, Lucy. So I'm Caroline. And I'm Alison. Um, yeah, so we're researchers at UCL uh, in London and we've been spending time since early 2023 um, in the new school carrying out research to understand more about its model of democratic education. Um, so we've been spending time in the classrooms and doing a, um, research through uh, innovative methods of photo voice where we send teachers and young people out to take photos uh, each week of their experience. And um, put simply, we recognise that inclusivity is a buzzword in education, but actually we want to use our, um, our, our presentation to explore more about how inclusivity works in practice in the new school and the way that it works. And one of the ways that we've identified is through uh, attention to the sensorial aspects of schooling. I'm just going to hand over to Alison now to explain more about what that is. Yes, so uh, in our presentation, we will share um, some examples um, from our research of bodily and sensorial experience and interaction in the classroom at the new school. So this would include um, noise, touch, temperature, movement, hunger. And through these examples, we would like to illustrate um, how these aspects can contribute to emotional regulation that's required to scaffold learning. We're also going to explore how differences in sensorial needs and preferences are negotiated in daily practice in the school, um, with a focus on how that occurs through boundary making between teachers and young people and um, um, amongst each other. So with these examples, we hope to show you some of the key ingredients of the new school's um, democratic pedagogic principles in action, um, namely two things. Firstly, how to implement a human centered approach to education. And secondly, how we might go around co-creating our learning environment in which young people and adults have agency over their bodily autonomy. So if that sounds good to you, we would love to see you on the 23rd of September and we can say hi in person and you can ask us all your questions. See you there.